So in our model uh, with heterogeneous agents, we've seen how uh, individual households uh, consume and save, and we've also seen how much uh, income they make and how much um, capacity they bring to the market. Um, so now what we're going to do is aggregate all of this. So we'll aggregate um, all the supply of services to get an aggregate supply, and we'll ag aggregate all the demand for services to get an aggregate demand. And then we're going to use this uh, result to actually solve the model and figure out what is the uh, you know, what's the amount of, what's the tightness in such a model uh, of a slack with heterogeneous agents and, uh, you know, and compute um, all the aggregate variables and as well as individual, uh, individual level variables. Uh, so let's start with the aggregate supply. Uh, that's particularly simple here. So the goal here is to aggregate uh, all the services that are uh, brought to the market and then uh, figure out how many of those um, are um, sold through the matching function. Uh, so what we know is that um, how, oops, sorry, um, how sold Well, I guess there, there are two ways to go about it. Um, either we know that household I sells f of x, which is y i f of x times k i, and so once we aggregate, Once we aggregate that, we find that all households, they would be able to sell Y, which is a total output of services. That's going to be the sum over all our households of YI. That's going to be the sum over all households of F of X, KI. And that's just going to be F of X, and the sum over all households of the KI. Um, the sum of all the k is at the aggregate capacity, which we've denoted um, k. Um, so y would be f of x times k. Um, and this relationship between output and uh, tightness, uh, that's what we, you know, that's what we'll call the aggregate supply, uh, y f of x. And um, so we can flag that. Um, so here we define this relationship as y f of x. Uh, this is the aggregate supply. So the aggregate supply curve here, which links um, tightness to the amount of services that are going to be um, sold. And the key thing that you notice immediately here is that uh, the aggregate supply curve is exactly the same as uh, in the uh, representative agent model. Um, so in the model in which um, we have no heterogeneity at all. So the fact that uh, different households supply um, different amount of services, that their capacity is different, that we have inequal, uh, so we have unequal capacity and therefore unequal income um, doesn't affect the aggregate supply um, curve at all. Once we aggregate, we get exactly the same result. Um, okay, um, another way we could have done it and just um, in passing, you know, we could also have um, computed that um, straight uh, from the matching function, you know, on the uh, as an alternative derivation, 
it would have been also very uh, very fast um, to just go directly uh, to the matching function instead of starting from the probability to sell so we know that the amount um, of services that are sell y is given by the matching function that takes as argument all the services that are sold and all the uh, visits <clears throat> and then you know uh, by constant return to scale of the matching function we can write this as sum of ki m of one and then the ratio between the sum of the vi and the sum of the ki that's just x the tightness um, and so here sum of the ki is just k m of one over x is just the probability to sell uh, f of x and so if we had done that we would have obtained uh, that y is just f of x times k, which is exactly uh, what we had earlier by aggregating all the probabilities to sell. I mean, these two derivations are equivalent. Um, but so bottom line is that if we look at the supply side of the market, we know that um, output would be equal to uh, f of x times k, which uh, we denote as the aggregate supply curve. And that relationship is always true. Um, output is always... Um, you know, linked to tightness by the aggregate supply curve that ca that captures how many services are, this relationship captures how many services are brought to the market as well as the matching process. Um, and here, uh, you know, nothing has changed compared to when we had a representative agent uh, model. Okay, so this is for the supply side. Nothing new here. So um, our aggregate supply curve, we know it's an increasing function of tightness. We know it's going to be concave. We know that it's zero when tightness is zero. It, um, it converges to k when tightness becomes infinite. So all the properties are just the same as what we've seen in the representative agent case. Um, so now here we looked at the aggregate supply side. So now let's look at the aggregate demand side. And here things will be a little bit more, a little bit more interesting. And we'll have some um, small differences um, compared to um, the representative agent uh, framework. 